Hey everybody, welcome to this month's installment of Bass Camp. Today we're going to go over how to cop a techno flavored synth bass sound using a conventional electric bass, stomp box, and amp setup. So most electronic bass lines come from either a synth bass or a loop library or something like that. But there's no reason why we can't emulate that on an electric bass using simple effects like a sub-octave device or overdrive, even a little chorus, or sometimes no effects at all, just using like a really deep tone on your amp. Um, there's also tonal characteristics and rhythmic devices that occur a lot in this kind of music. So basically what I'm going to do in this lesson is just walk you through the various different ways we can approach this. This first example shows how offbeats are used a lot in uh, synth bass lines. So we're going to accent the offbeats and we're going to play them really staccato and clipped. This next one uses a very specific common rhythmic pattern and harmonic pattern that shows up a lot in this kind of music. And we're going to, again, play everything as clipped as possible, trying to make it as precise like a synth as we can. And I'm also going to add a sub octave effect. <laughs> So in this next one, I'm going to introduce you to the gallop rhythm. That's where we play one note that's an eighth note and follow it up with two sixteenth notes an octave higher. Sounds like this. And we're going to add a little bit of distortion and some chorus. This next one's also going to use gallop rhythms, and we're going to add a sub octave to the effects that I already have on. This next example is based on a repeated dotted eighth sixteenth note rhythm with super sharp articulation on the sixteenth note and rest in between. We're also going to play a fill toward the end where we're going to be doing like a quick slide and we're going to try to make that sound like a pitch wheel on a synth. This next one also makes use of repeated 16th note rhythm. We're going to keep everything as staccato as we can and we're going to keep the sub octave effect on. So we're going to do a complete 180 now, and instead of keeping everything as staccato as possible, I'm going to play everything as long as possible, and I'm going to go for the deepest tone I possibly can. This next one continues in the same style. We're going to add in some grace notes and some finger slides. So again, try to keep in mind uh, you know, the mindset of a synth player using a pitch wheel. Our final example encompasses a lot of the elements that we've covered in this lesson. Uh, I'm going to be playing an F-sharp Phrygian. And for effects, we're just going to use chorus and a little bit of overdrive. Now all you need are your biggest pair of parachute pants, some glow sticks, and you're ready to rave. Good luck.